I'm an ambassador for Christ, and as you know, I go to kill and goes. Listen to me. God is exposing people. God is exposing, exposing people. It's be powerful stuff. Do you know what, right? The Bible says, right, it says, preach, okay, uh, in the book of uh, First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 and onwards, I think it is, or verse 2 and 4 and onwards. It says, preach the gospel, all right, Pre preach doctrine, in season, out of season. It says, um, preach, re 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 rebuke, reprove, you know, with all long suffering and doctrines, for, or with doctrine, for there is a time that shall come where men, where men shall not endure sound doctrine, but shall, but after their own lust shall heap unto themselves teaching teachers with itching ears, teachers with itching ears. All right. Let me show you something. God is, God is exposing people. Now I had this vision. This vision is a is a vision that pe lots of people throughout the years have probably had. But I saw a broom going through the house of God. The Bible says, you know, um, judgment starts at the house of God. All right. Judgment starts at the house of God. And, if, and the Bible speaks about if, if the righteous scarcely get into heaven, where would ungodly and sinner appear? So I saw this vision of this big broom brushing through the church, brushing through, okay, the body of Christ. Because there's many people in the body of Christ that are not of God. They're not of God. On social media, they're not of God. There's leaders that are in, that are in top, that have big platforms. They're not of God. I'm not going to say who they are. But I can tell you right now that God is sweeping through. People who are not of God, God is God is exposing them. The Bible says this. The Bible says that anything that's done in secret shall be made open and it shall be proclaimed upon the rooftops. Anything that's done in secret shall be made manifest, shall be preached or spoken about in the open. Anything done in secret shall be made known and manifest. This is what the Bible says. Now we're seeing a lot of leaders, top people, even Christians, people on uh, social media, and this sort of stuff here. And they're being exposed. They're not of God. And what's happening, they're, they're, they're going to start falling like flies. There's a few leaders and, and people who preach the gospel who supposedly are men of God, women of God. And they're being exposed. And in this end time, you're going to see more and more and more of it. Now, it sweeps through from the top down to the bottom. You're even going to see brothers and sisters. God sweeping through, you know. So all these fake saints, okay. God is sweeping through. They're going to be made they're going to be exposed and made manifest and you're going to find out that they're not of god they was with us but they came out from us so we that we that so that we would know that they were never of us that's what the book of that's what it says in the book of um john all right not the gospel of john but i think it's the first book of john saying there's a lot of saints that's with us but they're not of us they're not from us okay and they're going to be coming out from us because god is sweeping them out and a lot of people this uh they, they are um, what's the word called being tossed to and fro with any wind of doctrine they're not preaching sound doctrine. Listen, how do you know who these people are? It's easy. On social media, for example, check out the conversations. Check out what people are talking about. If you, if you go on certain groups, Instagram, YouTube, you go into these groups, you go into these channels, and there's strife. In the comments, there's always strife. There's always arguments and debate. All right. What what is that? What is that telling you? It's telling you that what is being uh, what 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 is what is in that the people that are watching that stuff they're not of God. Why? Because what they're speaking about is strife. The videos they're doing is strife. In a lot of these groups, these crazy debates. The Bible says that we shouldn't be um, doing debates. Debate. All right. Debate causes strife. It's a work of the flesh. It's, it says it in the book of. But um, Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 and onwards, it speaks about strife and debate. And so what happens is that we start getting into minus debates and it's just poison that's coming out. It's not of God. That's not, that's not sound doctrine. That's called arguments. I'm trying to prove a point. You're seeing this all on YouTube. Now, the Bible says by their fruits you shall know them. So we're not going to look at people and say, oh, he's a false prophet. Oh, he's a false teacher. Oh, this brother, he's He's crazy. This sister doesn't know what she's talking about. Don't bother do that. Just check out the fruits. And if the fruits are not of God, if the fruits are evil, the Bible says, from such, turn away. Don't even get involved. There's many a times I've seen on YouTube, on Facebook, I've, I've, been, um, I've seen um, lots of debates where I can actually come in and interject some truth. And I, I start to type, but I, I just delete the, delete the comment. Why? Because if I give a comment, there's going to be strife. There's going to be debate and I'm not entertaining that. I'm not getting involved with that. So what you're going to start to see is a lot of these 
groups, a lot of these people, this debate and all this maliciousness and all this, my doctrine. Do you know what? This is so crazy. There's a lot of people, isms and schisms in the body, carnal church, 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians, Paul had to deal with the carnal church. There's a lot of saints out there who think that their doctrine is the only doctrine that's out there. And a lot of churches, a lot of brothers and sisters who are part of the toe church or they're part of the kneecap church or they're part of the heart church, all right? Because remember, we're one body with many members. So you've got a lot of the heart church say, who have a doctrine and they're saying to the ear church that you're not of God, you're not saved, you're not teaching sound doctrine, you're, you're of Satan. So they're calling their own body part a part of Satan. No. No, your doctrine is not the only doctrine that's out there. That is, is not the only part of the body that's actually teaching truth. And what happens is every church and every person has their own personal truth. And they're trying to force their truth and their convictions onto somebody else who has their truth and their convictions. And we all believe in the same God. We believe in the same Jesus Christ that died on the cross for us. And even if you get into the names of Jesus Christ, some people believe in Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yahuna, Yahalawashua, and the debates and the strife. It's crazy. Nobody's talking about the kingdom. No souls are being saved. Arguments are going crazy. There's demons laughing at us and stirring this pot of debate and Christians are being sucked in. And you find out if you're being sucked into, into these debates and into these, oh, and, and finger pointing, you're tossed to and fro with any wind of doctrine. You're a baby. Adults don't do that. We are of strong meat. We preach the kingdom. We preach the gospel of the kingdom. We're ambassadors for Christ. We speak on behalf of the king. But there's a lot of us, we're speaking on behalf of ourselves. We're speaking of our own. And because we're speaking of our own, there's arguments, there's debate, there's craziness. But like I said, God is sweeping through. All these fake saints and these fake men of God and women of God, these fake leaders, they're getting swept out. They're being exposed and swept out and you're going to find out that they're not from God. How do you know if they're of God? Easy, the fruits. We need to check out the fruits. I want to see the fruit of your walk with God. I want to see the fruit of your ministry. If there is no fruit from your work of God, okay, I mean your walk of God, there's no fruit from your ministry and it's all evil and it's, and it's debate, it's arguments, it's malicious speaking, it's works in the flesh. No one's being edified. Let me show you something. From such turn away turn that channel off delete yourself from that from that page I right, on you on on facebook i see christians posting attack 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 you know if you don't believe in this then you're of satan if you don't believe my doctrine if you don't believe my truth if you don't believe my revelation you're of satan what are you talking about no no god is massive you know god is huge there's loads of truth that points to christ Okay, the Bible says for the Holy Ghost shall lead us into all truth. If you want to know, we need to find out the, the, the foundation. What do you believe about the Lord Jesus Christ? See, a lot of us have truth and we think that our truth overrides everybody else's truth. Okay, but we all believe at the, the foundation, we all believe in the same thing. We all believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. We all believe that he's coming back. We all believe that we've been redeemed. But yet we're arguing over intricacies of the scriptures. And because we argue over the intricacies of the scriptures... When no one's being saved, no souls are being saved, you're preaching to the choir. What's going on? There's a lot of saints out there in a lot of saints groups talking. You're preaching to the choir. You're preaching to the choir. What's going on? We need to be out there encouraging one another so we can go out there and make a difference in people's lives. But you can't make a, a different in difference in people's lives or in saints' lives if there's debate and strife in what you're dealing with. If you're trying to come across with your truth and you're trying to say that you're right and everyone's wrong. No, you're from the brain church. I'm from the kneecap church. And what you're from the eye church. You can see something else. I'm from the foot church. I can see what's on the ground. You're from the eye church. You can see a lot of things going on in the spirit. I'm from the foot church. I can see a lot of things that's going on on the grassroots and sinners that's on the ground. People who are being kicked. People that are suffering. I can see what's going on. I can see them more clearly. But you can't tell me it's all about this spirit, spirit, spirit. And you're so out of touch with the earth. You've got people who, who know the earth, who's, who's like the earth church or the foot church. It's all about the earth, earth, earth. And they, they see people hurting that down here that they forget the spiritual realm. So this, we've got to work together and we've got to have each other and move as one body in one direction. The devil's just trying to, it's craziness, ramble over. But God is sweeping through with his brush. You want to see a lot of people dropping like flies. Apostasy is coming. 
And you want to see lots of people dropping by fly, like flies. I mean, people at the top, big preachers, big names. You see them fall. Why? Because they were not of God. Or they was of God and then they, 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 they fell off. They was of God in the beginning. They was of God for, year, for 20, 30 years. They was of God, powerful ministry. But then they fell off and they started going into crazy doctrines. And also, there's a lot of people out there, the Bible speaks about believing fables. A lot of people are believing fantasies and believing stories. This is crazy. I ain't going into any more of that. You can read about that in Timothy chapter 4 and onwards. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, 2, 3, 4 and onwards. Deep stuff. It's so Robert Ambassador for Christ. Join the Bible studies. Information down below. Talk to you guys later. Don't be one of the people that get swept out. Please, just get your head in the word.